Hey guys, September long weekend and ready to actually take this thing for its first real cruise. I did a little test cruise on it before, but uh, check it out. Put the key in. Right away, maintenance. It was absolutely fine when I parked it. So the only way I know how to diagnose this is to hook it up to the CanDo Pro. So I'm gonna dig the computer out. We'll pop the seat off, plug in and uh, See what it tells us. Guessing the map sensor, that one was a little bit sketchy. Uh, I expected an error as soon as I put it on, but that's all I guess. Let's hook up the can do. The seat off. And we got to plug in. Show you where that goes, in case you're looking sometime. Right there. Let me just plug into that. Okay. See do. Looking for vehicle, got to put the tether on. Oh. Forgot to plug in to the box. And DI faults are what we're looking for. Fault code 1601. Let's see if we got an active code right here. Atmospheric pressure out of range. That is the map sensor, which is what I was worried about. Intake pressure. That should be like 14. I'm gonna wiggle around that sensor. Now it says 14. So now that's right. Let's see if we got any. Let's clear everything out. And what do we got here for active codes? Mag throttle position out of range. And still atmospheric pressure out of range. Hmm. What's that say now for, sorry. How can I have the map sensor disconnected? And that's still reading something. I want to unplug the uh, throttle position sensor. Just see if it's crudded up.
Now let's see what happens here. Might have a ba bad uh, throttle position sensor. Because it still says active. Plug that in. Try clearing the faults again. Well, isn't that interesting? See, I just hooked this other one up here. Still not working. So what does that mean? All right, next bummer. I pulled all the plugs out, put them back in just to see. I have had that before where it got a little bit of condensation in there. And in unplugging them and plugging it back in, now I got no, oh, it's back. Still got maintenance. Inactive, all inactive, inactive. Active, atmospheric pressure out of range. But we have an intake pressure sensor, atmospheric pressure sensor, and mag TPS. So that's everything up here. And those two connectors are connected together something going on. So I'm going to trace where that goes, see if it comes out into showing me something obvious. All right, so I put another sensor on there, but it's the wrong one and it doesn't like it. But it got rid of all the other codes now. So all we have is this atmospheric pressure sensor. So let me see if I can hunt down another one, maybe out of another machine that we can test it out. I knew this thing was sketchy from before and now it's reared its ugly head. So let me have a look. So I pulled the connector off and I hit it with the oxit. And now clear the faults. Let's see if we got any active, no active codes. So that map sensor, the trouble I was having before, I think there's a little bit of corrosion on the pin. So I think I'll just pop that thing out just by undoing that bolt right there. And we will clean it all up, pop it back in. It's a pretty cruddy looking thing. I don't know if I see crud in there or not. Yeah, it looks cruddy. File, a little file maybe. Pretty hard to get in there. Try that. Yeah. That's pretty cruddy there too. I'm gonna order a new one. I knew that was gonna be kind of sketchy because on the uh, XPDI I tried to use it and it wouldn't work either. Lost the screw, found it. The other thing is, is the clip broke off this thing too, so 
I'll zip tie that on if we get a good result. Okay, I guess we don't even need to, oh, hang on. I gotta put the cap back on here if I'm not gonna hook up the CanDo Pro again or else we'll get an error, so let me hook that on. And the rubber seal fell off. Okay. Now, see it wouldn't rev or anything and you would get an error. If it revs, we know we got it. Okay, so now we know, I'm gonna order a new map sensor. Not gonna mess around with that one. Uh, we'll put a zip tie on here for the time being. Let me put this thing back together. We'll dump her in the water and take her for a rip. Okay, ooh, water's a little cooler. There's a couple of goats. How'd you guys get out here? Well, there you go. There's a typical example of uh, you sell a machine and uh, two or three weeks later, the guy gives you a call back and says, you know, hey, what did you sell me? This thing's no good, doesn't run, blah, blah, blah. Um, these older machines are susceptible to uh, moisture, corrosion, things like that. So you, you sell them a perfectly good machine and it's just as simple as cleaning up a connector. But without the CanDo Pro, it's pretty hard to diagnose what the issue was. But anyway, we got that all cleaned up. Seems to be working good. I'm going to order another one, brand new one anyway, um, in case one day I do sell it. I don't want it to be a, an issue. I know what the problem is, but they wouldn't. Uh, and that's about it. So uh, this is the uh, September long weekend. We're pulling all the sea dews and jets or uh, lifts out of the water, docks coming out, the whole bit. So it's going to be a little bit quiet for videos for a little bit. Uh, also got COVID on top of that, so that slowed things down. But uh, next thing I'm looking for is a four-stroke. I had found a 2014 toasted engine. Thought I'd really be interested in uh, taking that all apart. And uh, it sold, like, still fast. So still looking. As soon as that comes up, that will be uh, the next video, I'm assuming. So until then, stay safe, have fun. See you later.